Hey everyone, this is Broker Place here. So I've been seeing a lot of people try to make um, trackless ride systems and other things. Now, I feel like mine inspired a couple of people, and I feel like I should share the information on how I did this with a bunch of other people. So I think it's about time I show you guys how I make the trackless ride system and how you can create it yourself. Now I'm not going to go as in depth as the way I use it by using Blender, but I will show you how to animate it with Moon Suit. Moon Suite and um, also set up the rig and all the other crap. So this will be a whole tutorial how to set up, animate it with Moon Suite. And yeah, let's get started. So we are currently in my place for um, just where I build everything. So everything you see here, just ignore that. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna focus on this now. We need to build a rig now. In order, how this works is it all is animated through a rig. Um, so creating the rig is fairly simple. So I'm just using B tool or um, F3X. You can use another tool. Just this is just what I technically prefer. Oh yeah, I should probably get this guy. I'm not the best at making tutorials or tutorials. Um, so we have our dummy here, and we want to create our rig. So we're gonna use our, our dummy for scale for our rig and create. The basic layout for the rig now depending on the trackless ride system you want um it really just depends so we're gonna do a really basic one we're gonna do we're gonna do a really basic trackless ride system it's not gonna do it's not capable of motions it's just capable of moving in different directions and other things so what you want to do is you want to create the base of your rig and this is going to be like the main part that you're going to be moving then what you want to do is if you want to have adjustable doors and like movable doors and stuff, you will want to create a rig typically up here and just have that just sitting right there. Now, the most important thing to rig is the humanoid root part because that's how you, you know, get it to do the move stuff, I guess. And there you go. It's really that easy. That's our basic rig. Now, with a rig, it's very, it's not... It's very helpful if you set the transparency to at least 0.5 or 0.75 and set the color to a visible color. So I'm going to set it to red. So here we go. We have a rig. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to name each individual part. So as you can see here, we have, this is the base. So we're going to name this base, uh, base, base. And we have the top part, which is the doors. So we'll name that doors. In the middle part, now this is very important, um, this will be your humanoid root part, so what you need to do is exactly name it humanoid root parts. I'll put that on the screen so you don't get the text wrong. Then that's that done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to group it. We'll probably, we'll name this, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it trackless rig tutorial. Now, the next part is, this is pretty much just parts with names, we need to attach, we need to make motor 6Ds. Now, it's important to download or down, install the plugin Moon Suite because you have access to the Easy Weld. Now, the Easy Weld is very helpful for it allows you to rig all the other parts. Now, going into your explorer, you want to select the humanoid root part and select the base. And you. <coughs> You want to make sure you select them in that order. Now, in Moon Sui, you open up the weld like you saw me do earlier, and you go to parts, and you click the join and place button. Make sure you click the humanoid root part first in the base, so it creates the motor 60. Now, you'll see the motor 60 be created here, and that's good. It should be inside the humanoid root part. Now, for the doors, you want to do, you want to select the base, and then the doors, and then press join in place. There you go. So now that is our whole rig properly set up. Oh yeah, another important thing. Make sure everything is unanchored except for the humanoid root part. Make sure the base and doors are unanchored except for the humanoid root part. The humanoid root part should stay anchored. Now this, now of course we have a right here, but it kind of doesn't really have any decorations. Kind of just, yeah, it's just an empty rig. So what we should do is we should add in a proper ride. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this one here, and I already have one pre-built. It's 
Um, you can build your own if you want. Now this is all set up and oh, whoops. Now this is all set up and everything. So we're gonna drag that in there. Now, actually, um, all of my rides, all of, like the trains and cars, are welded to the rig. So anytime I make a trackless ride, I always have the rig as its own thing with these, with the unanchored body here welded to the rig. Now, when making your, when making the body of the of the car, you want to make sure you have everything organized. So, this was made with a rotatable hinge, so I'm going to group that along with the base. Here we go. And we also have, a, this is just a cosmetic thing, I'll remove that. And we also have the doors as well, that's also an important thing. Now, we need to weld this to the train, so how we weld this to the train is I'm going to use B tools, you can use other I keep on saying because I'm using F3X you can use another type of you can use another welder but I would recommend F3X because it's a lot easier now what you want to do is you want to select the base and then you want to select the base of the rig for next and then you click press weld to last and there you go now that part is welded Next, we of course need to do the doors, so we'll click that. We'll click the doors, and then we'll click the part right here, which is the doors center rig, and then we'll press weld. Now, an important, and we'll make sure everything is unanchored in the body. There we go. And now we can get into the anima animation set. Oh, and an important thing: if you accidentally drag this out, it will break all the rigs. All the welds I meant it will break all the welds so just if you move it make sure you undo um, so it doesn't mess up now the actual animation to animate it just open up mood suites go to file go to new animation and name it to whatever you want so I'll just name this tutorial tracklist and you have this menu here now you want to click this little plus button right here and then look and then click the rig oh shoot I Forgot to mention, and a very important thing you should do is set the hu primary parts. So to do that, select the rig, click primary part, and then click the human right rear part. So now that you got that down, then you can select it, and there should be a rig option. Make sure that's checked. You don't need to check C frame. That's you don't need to do that. And press OK. And now you can get started with the animation. Now I like to set a keyframe for the rigs in the beginning. Now, if you're just getting into Moon Suite, I would say just get used to the controls and stuff. I'm not really gonna go over that too much, but yeah. So say we wanted to want the doors to open, so we're gonna simply just do a quick animation of the doors opening. Make it hold for like a, about like thir about like um, thir point five seconds. Close. So now we want to make sure the base is animated. So with the base, um, you w we're gonna start basically move it along our path. So, say we wanted to move here and stop, and then say we also wanted to rotate it, which we will do right now. So we'll rotate. It. Oh, yeah, we'll move it on the grid. And we'll rotate it, and then it'll move forward again. So here we go. Now the base moves. Of course, it won't be <laughs> it won't be that fast, but it's just something really basic. This is just for tutorial purposes. So here we go. We have our rig set. Then you can also spice it up by adding easing options into it. So say I want it to look a little bit smoother, we can change that to a sign in and out. Oh yeah, to access the easing menu, you just select it and press 7 on your numpad. And yeah, that's how you create a working checklist rig. Now, of course, yours will probably be better than the one I demonstrated here. The way I'm not going to go over the way I make them in Blender, but if you do have basic knowledge in Blender, maybe you can figure it out for yourself, but I'm not going to be going over that. I'm just going over the basic way. If you plan to make more advanced rigs, than the one I, I showed you, I recommend I would recommend watching 
the tutorial created by Jonas Cougar. He goes over motor 60s and rig building way better on that channel on that video. I'll link that down in the description and put an end card here. But other than that, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that this video helped you out. And I'll see you later.